Hi everyone. Um, I'm sure from the title, you know that this video is going to be all about the Wiz. <laughs> Um, this movie is very inspirational to me. I was watching it back in December well, before going into a manic episode. <laughs> so if you want to learn more about that, um, check out the playlist, Outwitting Bipolar Disorder. Um, be nice with the comments, but uh, yeah, feel free to check that out. Actually, <laughs> leave whatever comments you want. Um, I want you to show up as your most authentic self, always. Um, and, you know, there are, like, negative comments. Um, it can always bring up a conversation around stigma. So I'm all for it. I'm a big girl. <laughs> Picking up where I left off, <laughs> uh, just for context, I just turned 30 in February. And this film came out in 1978. Um, uh, and my grandmother would play the Wiz for us on VHS. Um, <laughs> I have never stopped watching The Wiz since. Um, and while watching The Wiz on um, a personal retreat, it actually inspired me to um, create my at .co page. Feel free to check that out um, for inspiration, hope, and positivity. Um, the purpose of this video is really to share like why The Wiz is so amazing to me. Um, why it possibly like inspired me to create this page, my um, at dossy.gold page. Um, I think this film was very creative. Uh, I think it's definitely ahead of its time. Um, so let's get started. I'm so excited about this. Okay, so I'm just jumping into this. Um, the first character that I'm going to discuss is Miss One. So I noticed that... Um, Education is a theme that really comes up um, in the Wiz. And in general, this popped out in my mind because my grandmother, um, I mean, all she ever told me was go to school, go to school, go to school. So I went to school. <laughs> I have been in school since Head Start. Um, that is a program for um, low income families, but I have been in school for a very long time. I am currently getting my PhD. So <laughs> I should have like one more year left. Um, so I'm super excited about that. But yeah, like looking back, I would have not done this. Um, the mental health toll is real and maybe I'll talk about that in one of the videos. The point is, um, like I said, my grandmother told me to go to school and my African-American friends can also resonate with this with their caretakers telling them to go to school, which is why I think it's so interesting that this theme is popping up in this African-American um, movie. Okay, so Ms. Wan is an interesting character to me. Um, she is full of numbers, like literally. She also has an abacus around her neck, which is basically this ancient um, calculator um, that is thought to be around 2400 uh, BC years old. Um, so that's really old. <laughs> and it's first thought to be used by the Babylonians. Um, so that's just a really cool fact right there. <laughs> Something else that stood out to me about the numbers, or I guess it's a bit symbolic, is that today a lot of my friends get so inspired by numbers. Um, numbers like 222, 111, 1111. Um, these numbers give them hope, inspiration. And I like Miss One is a bitch. And so um, when she comes, to bring the munchkins. I hope I said that right. <laughs> but when she comes, she brings them toys and gifts and they get really excited and inspired to see her almost. So I just said that was really cool. I don't know if the creators meant to do that, but it's still really cool. Cool parallel. Okay, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. We are gonna jump straight into the clips. <laughs> Countless felicitations. Thank you beyond number and additional good stuff. I, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to kill her. Oh, don't be at all sixes and sevens, honey. Oh, pardon me. This one's the name that if you haven't guessed by now, numbers is my game. Okay, so I left these clips out, but um, after the clips I just showed, she talks about everyone running in their businesses again. Um, she also, like, does some riddles, which are really funny. Um, she has this one where she's like, after Dorothy, she tells Dorothy like, um, basically, don't um, sweat it, 
you know, for 69 and oh, ever me, which I think is so funny. <laughs> okay, so this next clip really has nothing to do with Miss One. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show this clip because I think it's really cool. I think it says a lot about the creators with their open mindedness. Um, because you'll see in this video, there's a lot of dancing from men and women. Um, men and women are using pom poms. So I just think it's really cool. So that's why I'm showing this video, especially in a society at the time was driven by um, toxic masculinity, um, which is a whole nother discussion. <laughs> This is the end of the Wiz Film Analysis Part 1. Um, if you enjoyed the analysis, stay tuned for Part 2. It gets better and better, I promise.